Hey guys, it's Dan the Pan for Friday. Um, it's actually Saturday now. Um, I had you guys in a video about three and a half hours ago, and I thought I uploaded, and I was so happy. Then I realized it's not. <laughs> Sorry about that. I apologize. Um, I was also supposed to do a video last week, um, but there's some slight confusion. No longer confused. I got it. But um, today's topic is how to speak to your crush if you've never spoken to them and you don't know their orientation. <laughs> I am probably the worst person to ask for that. The way I go about that is it depends on my mood. There's sometimes I feel like extremely confident, like, oh, I got this. Then there's days like, I'm going to just walk the other direction and stare at them from afar. Because it's really fun to stare at them from afar. Not like a creeper, just stare at them. Okay, that is kind of creepy. Never mind. Ignore that. But yeah, I can't, there are days I, I can't, I really can't, so, but the days I am confident, um, I just start with something silly, or I might purposely trip and then make a joke out of it. I'm usually good with humor situations, I can, I can easily talk to someone if it's humorous. If it's a serious situation first, I can't, I don't know what it is, I shut down. So, um, well, it really helps if I bust out about, um, being pansexual. No one really knows what that is. So, I usually get the, what is that? And it really helps, it opens up doors for a complete conversation. And usually when I'm done, I get the, oh, well, I'm this, or I know someone who's this, and, you know, it really helps. So, that's one way to go about it. Um, uh, I don't really know any other way, honestly, other than other than just being funny, or or attempting be, to be funny. Cause other than that, I'm just cheesy. Um, food helps. I have offered um, a couple of crushes to make them some lunch or dinner. That actually helped. Um, but then it sucks because I usually find out that they're with someone else. <laughs> Or that they're taken, because that's usually my problem, that they're taken, so. Um, yeah. When you, when you feel confident, go for it. When you don't, don't go for it. Because that's usually when you phew, flatten your face. Not saying that you will, but sometimes that's when you fall flat in your face, and it sucks, so. Be confident. Smile. Not like a forced creeper smile, but get it a big smile. Smiles are contagious. You go around smiling and everyone's going to smile back at you. If they don't, ignore them. Go to the people who are smiling back. Um, smile. Smiling helps. Um, like, <laughs> it sounds cheesy, but seriously, smiling really does help. Um, it makes you feel good. It makes others feel good. And it might make you feel a little bit more confident when talking to your crush. It helps me a bit, especially when I'm in that go get them type of mood. Um, smile. Start out with some light small talk. Um, if you have something in common, use that. That's super helpful. Uh, like, if they like football, ooh, if you don't like it, don't try to fake it though. That's not good. If you, if you both find your sport or like, uh, a sport that you both like, if you both like the same type of band or, you know, or 20 questions. 20 questions is a great way to find out stuff about people. Especially your crush. Be like, hey, let's play some 20 questions. It's a great way to pass boredom. People like talking about themselves, so that's it's usually fun. Um, hopefully that helps. <laughs> uh, if not, offer to make them some lunch. That sounds weird, but sometimes actually that helps. I've, I've had that help quite a bit. I've offered to make couple of crushes some lunch and I have and then we had like a mini picnic at the school so that was really fun so try a little fun stuff like that you know it opens doors um so yeah I'm about to go enjoy this lovely pizza right here mmm hopefully this uploads so yes um I apologize again for last week and not for getting this for not getting this one up quicker uh, but yeah, this is Day in the Pan for Friday.